I was never a very good student in high school. I just didn't seem to care a whole lot. I, I, I wasn't very focused. And after high school, I had very little interest in actually going to college. So what I did is I enlisted in the Army. I was a, a combat medic in the Army. I initially went in as a reservist. And then after about a year of seeing what that life is like, the, the very, I mean, it, it's, it's great work, very hard work. Um, also, as a reservist, I was working 70 plus hours a week at a couple of different jobs, and I, and I realized what my life may end up being like if I didn't go to college. I didn't know what I wanted to go for. I, I always knew that math and science generally came easy to me, but even you know, I, I just didn't do well in high school, as I said. So my brother was actually majoring in chemistry, so I figured, you know, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. And I actually started out as a chemistry major, and I, and I actually did fall in love with it, and I enjoyed very much the four years as an undergrad, and then obviously went on and did my PhD. I think the opportunity to work at ECBC ha has actually been quite different than what I originally expected. Um, most chemists who get their PhD will end up, you know, they have their niche area where they are often a, a world expert in a certain topic. What I imagined was I would be coming in and, and you would be expected to focus on your area of expertise potentially for an entire career, which is what many chemists may want to do, and that's perfectly fine. Myself, I actually wanted to get involved in, in you know, lots of different things, including you know, pushing my comfort level and getting into some of the engineering uh, you know, side of CB defense. A as I said, I'm now working for the engineering directorate. So it's actually been an excellent opportunity if you don't want to focus on a very narrow uh, you know, portion of the bigger picture. Chemists at, at all different levels, biologists, physicists, um, I don't want to leave anybody out, but you know, anybody in the sciences and engineering, it, it's really quite easy to come in and work for ECBC, kind of earn the respect of the people here, and then branch out and really get involved in any project that you want to. I haven't been told, you're a chemist, you don't really fit on this project. I've actually been embraced, and, th and they often try and find ways to tap in to the knowledge that you have from your previous background and use your different perspectives to really help achieve a better product for our customer, you know, be it one of the program managers or, or ultimately the warfighter. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of need for younger scientists as, uh, you know, we're definitely losing people to retirement and uh, there's just really not enough scientists coming up through the ranks to fill a lot of those gaps. I'd recommend that if you do have a passion for math, science, engineering, um, you know, there, there's really a lot you can do with those degrees. So I, I would recommend if you feel it is something that you're spending some of your spare time reading up on that, it it's likely is a, a passion of yours, and, and I, I just suggest starting to take some courses, you know, I mean, you don't necessarily need to commit to a major right away when you enter college. Take some courses and feel it out, and if, if you really are enjoying them, there are many exciting opportunities, so I think it's an excellent career field, and I would def definitely recommend um, trying to learn more about ECBC as a, as a home once you finish your degree. Uh, it's an excellent place to work.